Hi, just thought I'd start recording for a new vlog. <laughs> we're doing a fast walk at the beach and then we're going to pack some orders. I don't know if this will be part of a vlog series or vlogmas or just a random vlog, but hope you enjoy it. What do you think? Thumbs up. Yeah. Just had a nice breakfast at Shanty. Uh -huh. Very nice. Ten out of ten. I give it. What do you give? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. What did you have? Just a full Irish breakfast. I had a hash brown thing with a poached egg and smoked beans. Smoked beans. And treats so Yeah, a little bit of black a little crop. Was very nice. Oh, was that what that was? Mm. Well, I don't know what that was. Hi, I'm just in here packing your orders. Someone picked this, these three skeins. This is cognac, wildflower dark, and oh, sorry, peony mauve and cranberry. I think these would make such a nice shawl actually. So I'm busy packing these. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to take them to the sorting office. And yeah, thank you so much for all your orders over the weekend. Just on my way to the sorting office to take your parcels to the post. Any parcels that came in the last couple of days, so and then I'm going to go to the shop. Hi, it's a new day. I keep forgetting to film for this vlog and there's quite a few interesting things happening. So <clears throat> right now I am kegging up a yarn that I am going to be trying out for the shop. It's a potential new base. Um so right now I'm just kicking it. I've packed the orders this morning and I I made this evil looking bunny yesterday, which is, I should have showed you when I was doing it. It was a little pattern that I seen in a magazine. The actual pattern wasn't in the magazine. You had to like self draft a bunny shape. And then I cut it out of um, a felted jumper that I just had lying around the house. And I embroidered little eyes and nose onto it. You can maybe hear it's filled with rice and lentils, so it actually feels really nice to hold. But I'm going to give it to my wee girl, but it's not a very beautiful present, I wouldn't say. But she might like it, so we'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm going to finish cake and the yarn, and then I, I had a look at my fabric stash, and I um, I have some lovely wads of nice fabric. I think I got it from a shop in Ballycastle. It's wool and I don't know. I don't even know where it was woven. Probably in Ireland somewhere potentially. And I was thinking I could make a few Christmas presents maybe out of this stuff and maybe some for myself. So I was thinking I could even I could either make lavender sachets or like a rice bag uh, that you can put in the microwave. I think it's probably going to be quite a skinny bag and when you do that you need to make an inner bag as well so I've heard an old pillowcase is good for doing it because it already has three sides sewn so once I finish kicking up this yarn um, I might have a think about who I would give one of these to and um, go from there so I'll show you if I do end up making those I will bring you along with me Right now I'm just getting things ready. I'm doing a little photography shoot in my house, which is quite unusual. Usually I'm photographing for someone in like a different location. Oh yeah, and if some of you don't know, sometimes I do some photography work. And um, that's what I studied. Um, I do architectural photography. Anyway, I'm photographing my house 
today, not the whole house, just certain parts of it, for my husband who is starting his own um, architecture practice. He's an architect, he's had a lot of experience and he's just setting up on his own. So he needs some photos for his website and um, I'm just doing that right now. So the shot's probably gonna be like this. Do a few shots in the kitchen and then in some in other parts of the house too. So we've, we've put the wash in here and all the stuff we don't want in the shop we've put here. Heading out for a walk here. We're going to, where are we going? Downhill. Downhill house. House. Uh, not the forest today. So I'll take you along with us on the little walk. What are you getting? Up. What are you pick of a tweet? A flat white or a hot chocolate? <laughs> we have a big decision. What's it going to be? I'm going to have to mind up. So, what did you go for? Hot chocolate. <laughs> Do you think you made a good choice? Um. So that was Masadin Temple Library. Are they both Masadin Temple or just that's, that one? That's Downhill House, that's Masadin Temple. Okay, very good. Hi. Right now I have cast on something new with my new yarn that I wound up yesterday. It's a Petite Knit November Balaclava Mini. Um, so I cast this on with my new yarn, which is a DK weight along with a strand of my natural sock to make up more to iron weight. This is a pattern that is knit in fisherman's rib and it seems that all my projects are knit in fisherman's rib at the moment. <clears throat> Which is okay, but I'm kind of ready for something else. This is more like a practical knit rather than a... Well, I think it will be a fun knit as well, but rather than for myself. It's for my little girl who needs something like this. So I'm going to try and do this kind of quickly and then I'm going to hopefully try and finish my um, the first sweater that I'm doing. I think I've decided that the sleeves are too short but I've already knitted the cuffs, so I'm actually going to um, I'm going to rip back both cuffs, and re I'm going to knit like quite a lot extra. I think with balloon sleeves, like 
Although you can have the cuff tight, you kind of need the balloon part that comes over the cuff rather than the way you normally do a cuff. So my next challenge is to do that. Then there's the Michaela shawl, which is also in Fisherman's Rib. And I'm quite a long way off finishing it, to be fair. I just do a few rows on it every now and again. Um, so be nice to get that finished so I could wear this winter, but I'm not going to count on it. Uh, what else have I got? I just obviously cast off the pair of socks. I don't know if I showed them on here or not. Um, and what else? I'd like to cast on another pair of socks. I'd like to cast on the Lizzie Pinafore, which I bought yarn for, the Marie Wallen British Breeds. And I would like to cast on the Sophie, Sophie scarf. And I would like to cast on the Ole yoke. And I would like to cast on all the things. Oh, I'd like to cast on the new vest out by Albino Glockland, the, what's it called? The cut something vest. Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, I have the yarn for it. There's another pattern by Ella Gordon that I really like too. It's also a vest. It's a, like a fair isle type thing. Um, so I'd like to knit that too. So, so many things to knit, not enough time, not, a, not enough hands. I think I've already swatched for the oil yoke, so maybe I will start with that. It's bottom up, so I wouldn't be doing the colour work for quite a while. And then I had in my mind also a hot water bottle cover that I got a pattern for and also a Harriet's headband. But I'm just, I don't know when I'm going to do all this, you know. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm not a fast knitter. Knitting was never meant to be fast, I don't think. But, so yeah, basically I don't know what to cast on next. It's just too crazy. I'll start with the oil yoke. I'll finish my first sweater. And then... What will I do then? Maybe cast on a pair of socks and then that'll give me some breathing space perhaps. 